Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and I'm joined by my twin bro, Ryan. What's up, everybody? And we are taking a look at brand spanking new gameplay of Battlefield 1's brand new infantry-based mode called Squad Domination. Oh yeah. And man, is it intense. We actually got to play at an exclusive event because EA was kind enough to pay for our trip out to LA to it experience was awesome. it. It was yeah, really awesome. But what you are seeing here is a brand new gun that we really haven't showcased much. It is called the M1909 Benoit Mosse, I believe. <laughs> I think it's French or something. I don't know what, what type sure of weapon it is. It. Yeah, but it's like has all these squiggly lines in the pronunciation. But it is a badass weapon. Now, this is Ryan's gameplay here, and uh, he is mowing down the competition. Yeah, so I'm using the submachine guns in the game, and they yeah. are very powerful. Here, I'm on a turret right here. Taking down the enemies in the central courtyard, that's what I like to call it, with the windmill in the center. This is one of my favorite parts of the map, especially if you get the opportunity to get on the turret at the right time. And right here I did, you can see that I'm mowing down the enemy. I love how they cut out the section of this map here. By the way, guys, this map is a part of the larger Conquest map. Yeah, I do it's like that. a smaller that, yeah. division of it, and they chose the right area because it makes for some intense close quarters combat. Yeah, and the thing about uh, squad domination is that there are no vehicles. So if you are kind of annoyed by vehicles and you're like frustrated, this is a good way to change up the gameplay and just to have fun doing, you know, head-to-head -head competitive uh, competitions in Battlefield 1. Plus, it is a really, really good way to get used to the weapons as we see here. This is the Model 10 shotgun, and it is a beast. Yes. I died yes it is. from it so mm -hmm. many times, I can't tell you guys, and it really does work on squad domination. So if you really want to try uh, a really good weapon, go for the Model 10 shotgun on squad domination. Yes, and Robbie figured it out quickly after dying from it, he made sure to kill the enemies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I learned <laughs> from my mistakes. So you can see here, here he's using it. And again, it's really showing the close quarters combat of this game on the interior uh, spaces of this map. And again, all of this is destructible. And oh, if we yeah. weren't clear um, with the squad domination mode, it's very similar to Conquest. You have to capture objectives. And like Robbie mentioned, it does not have vehicles. Yeah. So it's really, nice really cool thing. how you have that option to go into a more smaller game mode that's more focused on... Uh, solely infantry combat so if you again if you're annoyed with vehicles you constantly are getting killed by tanks mm -hmm. well first of all you need to figure out how to kill the <laughs> tanks if that's happening you need there's no excuse you need to figure out how to kill tanks but um this is a fun more small community competitive game mode yeah and i think it's going to be one of the better ways to rank up very very quickly in uh, Battlefield 1. That was the case that's true. in yeah, previous that's true. Battlefield games, so I think this is going to be your go-to mode to get into the game and really, first of all, get used to the base mechanics without worrying about the vehicles, because once you're outside the vehicle, you it's a completely different game. Oh, yeah. And you have to really yeah. use your Twitch reflexes, because this really does feel like a Twitch shooter in squad domination. Again, you Call of Duty fans will be right at home Yeah, here. that's what I was you just going to say. It. Call of Duty fans will especially love this mode. You know, I love Call of Duty, and um, I love this mode because it's a shorter game mode. You know, it's more focused yeah. on um, the infantry-based combat. But honestly, in all honesty, guys, I do prefer the larger-based conquest mode because it has the vehicles in it. I am a yeah, huge we... fan of the tank, the airplanes, all of the vehicles. The classic Battlefield You know, mode. I do like both modes, but uh, it'll be fun to switch back and forth because it really depends on your mood. Let's say you're yeah. like, oh, man, I'm tired of the tanks. You know, I've had enough of the longer game mode. I'm more in the mood for a faster, uh, quicker paced um, action game mode. This is it for you. And we have major mood swings. <laughs> but uh, you'll also notice something about the gameplay as well is that the weather changes dynamically here. That is true of both regular Conquest and Squad Domination. I was worried that they would completely leave that out of Squad Domination. But as you can see, it is yeah. full on raining here. And this is absolute carnage. That grenade did not go well at all. No, it did not. Uh, but I managed to recover here in this gameplay clip. But man, oh man, it's so good to see that they have many different variations of weather. And that's yeah. all dynamic. You'll also see later on, I believe... Uh, some fog, full-blown fog, which makes sniping very, very difficult. But my question is for you, Ryan. 
Uh, because of the fog, there's also the spot mechanic. It's called 3D spotting. You can spot the target and you see a big red dot above their head. But in the fog, it makes the fog kind of pointless because you see all these red dots. Do you like that or what do you think about 3D spotting? So with that, I think it's still important to the game because the fog adds a level of difficulty anyway yeah. to the game. That spotting kind of aids your teammates, going right. to aid uh, you during those difficult times where you can't see anything. So I'm fine with it. I've had no problem with it. It's very similar to past Battlefield games, so I'm fine with it. Yeah, and here's the Lewis gun. This thing oh, is Oh, this thing's bad serious business ass. right here. Yeah. And you can go prone with this weapon and uh, deploy your bipod. And basically, it makes it insanely accurate. It's like a machine gun, light machine gun sniper, in other words. But you can right. do a lot of damage just by hip firing it, as you can see. And it causes a lot of carnage from uh, quite a distance. But guys, there you have it. Squad domination. It is insane. All out infantry warfare, a smaller scale game mode uh, for those street to street firefights. A ton of fun. Guys, stay tuned here to Open World Games for more Battlefield 1 gameplay and Battlefield 1 news. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We recently hit 400,000 subscribers. Yeah, thank you guys. And we really, really are grateful for you guys. But we will see you on the Battlefield later, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time.